guys welcome back to Jody Lewis creations this is still Friday I went to my appointment I went to the orthodontist where um, my son's been going because I needed a new retainer made and so I um, wanted to also get an upper made to be like a bleaching tray and um, they were laughing at me the one gal she was like oh yeah you're definitely your kids mom or your kids definitely yours or however she worded it Oh my gosh, because I got, I managed to get through the lower, but the upper was really tough because I have a gag reflex like crazy, and so does he, and um, so I've always felt bad for him, <laughs> but now I'm still like, oh my gosh, please let this sensation go away. I didn't eat on purpose. You guys know I was like all jittery from my coffee from the video that I made this morning, which would be what, Fairy 6, because this will be episode 7. And I'm like, <clears throat> my husband says, are you going to eat? And I was like, mm -mm, nope, <laughs> I'm not eating. And he was like, are you sure? And I'm like, oh, I'm definitely sure that would be a bad idea. So he was laughing. And then I got there and then they were like, are you going to make it? And I'm like, just holding my hand up. I I'm, I'm going to get through this. Okay. So I had put in a little note on here, dancing with Tim Holtz wildflower die cuts because I like the colors of this image with this page and um so I'll have to get my my big kick out to um cut some stuff but I want to pull this out because this painter's paper is the the painted paper I did in uh the Tracy Fox challenge and her group to make some painted paper and so I really want to back this is kind of you know flimsy and won't take um it won't hold much, like weight-wise. It's not gonna hold anything. It's not substantial enough. So like on this one, what I did was I just glued this entire image down. And so that's what I'm, I'm going to similarly, say that again, Jody. Um, I have this player piano roll and I'm going to put some glue stick down on my paper, on the, on the painter's paper, I think and put that, <clears throat> put that down. Now, what that's going to do is, sorry, string. Um, what that's gonna do is just kind of stabilize that a little bit because this piano roll is too flimsy to be used by itself. And then we'll just embellish, you know, we'll have this on here. Cause like, if you would only be, and then I'm thinking maybe we'll find like a stamp free or something on there. If you would only be free, like how fun would that be on there, right? And all the little stars on this roll. I just love it. And we definitely need some butterflies and like I said, some of the wildflowers, I think. So I'm gonna get this glued down and then um, I think I'm gonna back that because I may actually make that a little pocket. So I think I'll back that with something and then I will be back. This is really fickle and uh, flimsy. So if you're working with something like this, just kind of take your time and know that it's gonna crinkle and buckle and you have to be mindful of the direction that you're putting the pressure because it's going to want to uh, shift and move and all that good fun stuff. So I started just on the edge there and got that glued down. And so I'm just gonna gently go like, and just work it because this paper is wanting to roll because I mean, it's been on a roll for a hundred years. So, all right, so that is down, hopefully good enough. And I'm smearing glue. So I'm just gonna go over my little holes and try to Make sure there's no glue squishing through those, but we don't want that. We also don't want glue stick everywhere. So, I <clears throat> hope everybody's doing well. Um, it's really pretty out today, and I was a good girl. I refrained from stopping at a moving sale on my way home from the orthodontist, and I really wanted to, and I said, hey, why don't you shop your stash that you have up in the attic, and then you're not spending money or bringing anything else home. So hopefully I can stick to that. I do need to go to the grocery and I still gotta get some stuff done in the RV. Um, oh, that is so cool. You know what I may just do is put that over here. But I don't know what I wanna do on that page yet. What's the other side of this? Oh, 
Yeah, that would be cool. Because this would be the other side. No, I had a different plan for that. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. I'll just set this aside for right now. Okay. So, I didn't back that because I came back to tell you guys how to do this. And I didn't get all of my glue out of those. But it's okay. It is okay. And then on this, I'm just going to use my glue book page here. And <clears throat> back it. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm telling you. I am like almost up from that stinking bleh, stuff they put in your mouth. <laughs> I am like, oh. But I did laugh when they were like, yep, you're his mom. <laughs> I felt bad. I'm like, I'm sorry. I can't help it. But the orthodontist, he is just a really nice guy. I mean, gosh, because... Oh, I did that backwards. It's okay. Um, oop, I, I'm wearing a ball cap and I just hit you guys. Sorry. Um, the orthodontist, he's so funny. He was like, I even make myself sick doing it. He says, I'll do my own. And he says, I just, he goes, oh, there's got to be a better way. He says they have like this new machine now that's like a laser or a, yeah, no, it scans. It like scans your mouth or whatever, but he says that it takes like an hour for the machine to cut the retainers. And so for him, then the patients have to come back. And I was like, well, that's a lot, you know, if people are le leaving work or school or whatever to come. And he goes, yeah, but you're thinking about it from the patient's perspective. He goes, I'm thinking about it from the business perspective. And I was like, no, no, I totally get it. Because then you're dealing with those people twice in a day. And then if they don't come back, then you're storing it. And like, I totally understood where he was coming from, too. So, yeah, it's interesting just to, to understand, like, both sides of that. Um, you know what? I That was really not probably the smartest thing I've ever done because I think that's gluey from using it as a glue page this morning. Let's see. And I have an ink jet, so hopefully I didn't just get that wet. It'll be all right. Um, so anyway, it was just kind of an interesting conversation with him. He's funny. He likes to travel too. And um, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put another layer on that. So, we kind of have that in common and he's just a nice guy. I just really enjoy like talking to him and stuff when we're in there. So we were talking about paddle boards and biking, which I don't bike or I can't, haven't been able to with my back issue. Um, but I'm thinking maybe if my injection works next week that I can get back to doing some more fun stuff like that. But anyway, so we were just talking about, um, like paddle boarding and traveling and stuff like that. And so that was a lot of fun. It was just an enjoyable, pleasant conversation, which was nice. And the gals in his office are just really nice and they've always taken good care of my son. And I just like the office. <coughs> so anyway, enough about that. So I hope you're all doing well. It is Friday, but you guys won't see this. I think I'll air this on, um, See, I just aired one today, so I will probably air this one for Sunday, maybe Monday, we'll see. See what I can get filmed so I can get you guys through without a huge gap in videos. Um, but anyway, I'm really enjoying working on this journal. It's fun. I, like I said, it's really nice out today, so I really can't be in here like that much, but I think I want to stitch around that. <coughs> Because I do still have brown in my machine, so I haven't made the purple stuff that I needed. And I really need to just sit with the machine and the different colors and sew some ruffles and just make some things that I know I'd like to use for this. I cannot sew this until it really dries because now it's very gluey. Um, yeah. All right. So this is gonna sit here like so, and we'll need a tag. Now see, you can still see the shiny glue. That's what I don't like about trying to do this, but it's okay. Because, I mean, it's bound to happen, right? All right, stop fussing. I keep fussing. You guys are probably like, did you stop it? Okay, so there is that. Now I know Oh, you know what I said in the last video I was going to do before I made this one? And guess what I didn't do? Go through my bin here. I think 
this might be if it fits. Will that fit in there? That's kind of big. We do, do need to find a place for that though. <clears throat> so I'll have to look through that stuff. And, um, oh, maybe. What was I thinking? I wasn't, don't worry. I don't really have any blue. Although this, oh, you know what? Actually, her dress is blue, but that's kind of bright on that page. But we need to find a place for that because I love it. All right. Clearly, I don't have a plan for the next step, so let me get a plan. So I've gone like a million different directions trying to figure out what I want to do for a tag for this. But I really wanted something that was kind of subdued, which this is still wet, so it's pretty bright. And I'm going to ink and sew around it when it's dry. And I've backed that with some music paper to tie it together, hoping there's no potty language on that book. But I don't think that even if there is, you'll be able to see it. And I can stencil even and knock that back some, but it really needs to dry. So I can stitch around this, stitch around that pocket, get it glued down. And I just kind of like that, the green sprigs out there. And somewhere I set my, oh, there it is. My iPad was hiding it. The little bag of um, words. And so I just thought, you know, we'll find a little word to put on this, this tag or something. Um, oh, I feel like dancing or fairy queen might be kind of cute on that. Um, I don't know yet what I want to do. But um, I'm dancing is, oh, the fae. How about the fae? This is a pretty big one. I'll have to find the smaller version. Um, so if that's in there like that, and we have the fae. See, that's too big. We need the smaller one. I didn't know these were going to print so big. I would have print the, printed them. Well, I did print them smaller. So, and I do, I have an idea for these to use these as big as they are. I just need to sit and... Um, and um and do it what was i looking for the fay that's right see i have all these really cool but they i should have printed them on heavier cardstock for the idea that i have <coughs> which is not my idea honestly i've seen other people do what i'm thinking about doing with them there it is oh my gosh an hour later okay so yeah i think i'm gonna put that there that's about the right size it's not too cumbersome and then when we put the pool on there um it still won't it won't um cover that okay so yeah this all has to really dry i can't do anything with it so i'm gonna go downstairs and do some ch chores oh my gosh my um punches just shifted it scared jesus out of me oh my gosh <laughs> anyway ah I'm crazy today. Oh, you're like, what's new? All right, so I'm gonna let this dry. I'm gonna go do some chores. I'm gonna see if any of you have commented about my little gold flowers yet so I can finish that page. And I also need to figure out what we're gonna do for a card or something in that pocket because I still don't know in that belly band. So lots of things that we have to work on still in this journal. Um, I feel like this is super subdued, but I really think that beside this page, I think the colors are, are good for this. So whatever trim I might pick out for, for like along here, definitely needs to pull from this side. So I'm thinking maybe something that kind of pulls her dress color. I did have these I was kind of playing with, but I don't think that they're going to be the right thing on this page. So... I pulled them off. Um, so yeah, that's where I am. Like I said, I'm gonna let this dry and then I will come back up in just a bit, stitch around them, ink around them, and um, figure out what else we're gonna do with it. So I got very few chores done because I was thinking about this page and like, oh, so then I'm digging in my trims. Let's see, am I, let's make sure you guys can see what I've got going on here. So I have this pink that I thought was gorgeous and could pull from here, but I couldn't cut it where I wasn't cutting into these sequins and they would fall apart. So I set that aside. I have this bronze sequin, which is really, really a lot of fun and the colors are perfect, but I was like, eh, okay. Then I have this piece, which I totally love. And I thought, man, if I could just cut along that, 
but either way, I think I'm going to get into those and um, it will fall apart, which I don't want it to do, but those colors are phenomenal. I do love the colors. So that is my really love, but not sure I can make it work piece. And then I have this applique that I really love. And I feel like it's kind of an earthy pink. It's not exactly the right colors, but I do think that it ties her dress and it's sparkly and, and I just like it. Um, I do have another one, a couple more. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, no, wait a minute. These green leaves off this one. That's it. That's what we're going to use. Okay. So I have to fussy cut this and this is really hard for me to do this because I love these pieces, but clearly I cannot use this piece as a whole. I bought it to cut it and I'm going to cut it. Going to do it. I'm going to put my big girl pants on and cut it. I'm trying to find my fabric scissors. Sorry, I know I'm shaking you. I'm in that big long drawer. Okay. So what I want to do is make sure I'm cutting this methodically and the best how I want it. So I think I could probably put that like along the bottom here, this one, and then maybe put the leaves up the side. So that's what I'm going to cut. Oh my gosh, I have sorry strings everywhere because of digging through them for pieces for, for this. Um, trying not to get into the stitching too much. I don't want it to come apart like the piece that I'm leaving. Um, but I just, I gotta be brave. I just gotta be brave. I know that sounds really silly, but I bought these <clears throat> appliques from a lady named uh, Deborah, and they're absolutely beautiful, and I don't use them because they're beautiful, and I don't wanna cut them up. But we're cutting them up today. Look at me go, big girl. Which sounds really funny, right? But I have a story. So I actually bought these because when I was doing that collaborative journal for my friend's birthday, there was a beautiful blue one and that's what got me started. And then I didn't even end up using it because I was being a weenie about cutting it up. So when I was making an altered file folder for my mom for Christmas, I had this really pretty doily and I was trying to make a fabric flip for it. And um, for, to put in one of the pockets just for tactile pleasure. Anyway, and so I was messaging my one friend and she goes, put your big girl panties on and just cut it up. So I did. <laughs> and actually it dyed beautifully. This is the blue one. Look at this. Isn't this gorgeous? Maybe we'll find a place to use some of this in here. It's just beautiful. But anyway, actually I didn't use it because the color blue wasn't quite the right color for what we were using, for what we were doing in the journal. But anyway. I digress. So anyway, I um I did cut it up. I, I put my big girl pants on and I cut it up. And um, it actually, the fabric flip truly did. It, it took color really well. It was beautiful. And so I was really glad that I did it. Um, anyway, but it was so funny. She was like, I said, but I might use it. <laughs> she says, you're not going to use it. Cut it up. <laughs> so I'm cutting it up. But anyway, it was just funny. And I have to laugh at myself because I buy these things with the best of intentions to use them because, I mean, they're beautiful. And I buy them to use them, but then I get them and I'm like, but it's so pretty, I can't cut it up. Or I just love it and I want to make sure that I use it for, you know, the right project or the perfect piece or whatever. And then I don't use it and then I get all, why am I holding on to this? I should just use it. All right, so that I'm going to put in the corner. Okay, so let's cut some of the, I'm just trying to cut some of that tool away just so that the applique itself is what we're left with. Um, kind of, I gotta go down and figure out what I'm gonna feed the boys for lunch. I have to, I washed the bedding out of the RV yesterday, so I've gotta go get that bed made, remade. Start putting stuff in for our trip. So I just have, and I got to clean the house. I was working on cleaning up the dining room table um, from some yard sale hauls and got sidetracked with looking at things versus putting them away. Because <laughs> I have that box of, those two boxes of 1,800 books. I need Mark to carry them to the attic for me. And then um, 
some magazines that I had gotten that I was gonna cut up. And I did start on a couple, but then I just happened to flip one open and it had a mermaid thing in it. And so I was like, oh, I gotta leave that open to that page for the mermaid image. And um, then there was a bunny image in one and funny cats in another. So I just have to get those pages cut and put with those themes that I'm saving for so that I have them. All right, so I'm thinking that's gonna pretty much do it. I'm wondering if I should use a different leaf because that's kind of in the way there. And if I do it like that, she'll just kind of peek out of there. Mm -hmm. If I just cut this one out, do I wanna do that? No, just use this one. I'll just cut that piece off or cover it. Oh my gosh. Do you guys yell at me when you're watching me sometimes and tell me, don't do that. Pick that one, do it that way. I do when I'm watching people. What are you thinking? No, do the other one. Yeah, I like that better. Okay. And what I do like is that it's all from the same applique, so the colors are right. You know, I'm not mixing and matching. Okay, so let's get this glued down, and I'm going to use my three-in-one, but very, very gently, or as gently as I can. I'm just going to glue on the back here, just along where the stitching itself is, because I really don't want the glue to show through. I just want it to hold, and I don't think it's going to take, like, a lot to hold it down. Ooh. Gotta be careful. It's wanting to move on me. Okay. So let's get this one down. Hopefully I don't drop it and get glue everywhere. All right, so there's that one down. Oh, yes, yes, yes. And then let's do this one. I did manage to get the funkiness mostly out of my mouth from the retainer episode this morning. <laughs> so funny. All right, somebody's coming up the stairs. Okay, get this. Okay, all right. Okie doke. So there's that. Let's get it on there how we want it. Yep, and then that'll kind of get get disappeared. Oh, it'll kind of disappear into the spine. Like when we sew this together, I think it'll be okay. I could maybe just do a little leaf. Where's that one? Yep, I have a use for it. Let's do it. So this little banner thingy, I could just do, no, here, we'll do this little leaf. Because I cut that little banner off, it was too long, but that's further out than I thought it was. I need to put some acetone in my glue. Okay. Alrighty. Alright. So the only thing left to do is put a pull on that, and I don't know what I want to use yet. So we'll have to come back to that. Don't know if I want to use something blingy or a whale tab. Maybe we'll just do a whale tab. Do I have any colors cut? That'll work. Let's see. Yeah. As a matter of fact, I think that'll work. Hi. I'll be down in just a minute. What are you doing? Filming. Um, I'm almost done with this episode. Get it uploaded and figure out what I'm going to feed you guys. Okay. Thanks. Sorry. I didn't want to stop you guys for that. He was just hovering <laughs> to see what I was doing. See if I was going to talk. He's been good about that, but he's been really sweet. I'm like, oh, I've got to get some stuff filmed, like I already said. Um, so that way I don't leave you guys with a big gap of, like nothing being filmed. Oh, I didn't stencil the back of this card either. You have to do that too. Okay, so I just want, which side do I want? I kind of like that flower on the front there. Oh, my nose is running. I don't know. No, grass. I keep getting pollen alerts for grass and um, 
See, I should have put that under that tag, but I didn't know what I was gonna do, and I should have stitched through it. Shoulda, woulda, coulda, right? But I think it looks okay. Actually, I really like it, and I'm glad I found that one. So that was one that was included in that ephemera holder my friend sent me. So she had some different papers, and she made that for me, and I just love it. And so, yeah, I like it. What if we put like a dangle on there? A charm or something? Hmm? But I can't do that until it dries. And that's something, again, we can come back to. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, and people of all sorts, we have a, another page done. So I'm really excited about that. I, I, I do think we need something there, but I think that I'm going to wait. Like I said, I, that glue has to dry. I can't do anything there. And I didn't put a word here because I thought with this word here, I wasn't going to put another one there. Oh, you know what would have been cute? Wait a minute. Wait one minute. Will that work? Sorry, I was reaching. Hmm. Is that too much? Oh, I still have my ball cap on. Gosh, I'm sorry. Hmm. I'm going to think about that. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to clip that there. Because I think that that might look really cute there. But I don't want to glue it until I know for sure that that's something I want to do. So let's put this back in. We are really starting to come together with this, which I think is fantastic. And I still haven't taken the book apart, but I think it's about time that we start thinking about taking the book apart because it's getting kind of chunky. And I still haven't figured out what I'm gonna do on the front part. If And I'm, you know what, I may not bring another cover over on the top of this, because I've been thinking about this, and I think I'm gonna mask this off, and I'm gonna paint the cover some kind of color that complements this yellow, because I love that that's foiled, and then leave her name, maybe I'll mask her name, mask this, and paint it, and then, um, that will still be our title because I mean, really we're doing, I mean, it's flower fairy theme because even the, um, the scrapbook paper is flower fairies, right? So we need an image for here, which we already know what we're going to use here. Um, and then I still need to do the back of this page, which I haven't yet determined what I want to do with it. Um, stop saying um I apologize I was going to make a tag out of this it's like a it's like a almost like a handmade paper feel but I haven't I'm not a hundred percent sold on that one yet we still have to do the foxglove fairy I still love her I just think she's so sweet but anyway so we still have a long way to go in this and like I said I'm probably not going to film everything because it's really just a lot to do and Honestly, if I were to uh, set a stopwatch for everything, like the episode this morning, I started filming, what, at quarter after six-ish, and I mean, I really was running to get out the door on time. It was almost eight when I finished, so it took me an hour and a half just to do the, the one belly band, which is ridiculous, but it's some of that is that I uh, changed my mind, or I second-guessed myself, or whatever, so... Yeah, there's that. Um, so I just need to keep working on it and keep going. Oh, look what I did with her. I think she's so cute. I just have to finish her, but I need purple. Um, hinge to flip out is my note here. So I backed her, her song and um, to her, and I'm gonna have her flip out like this, I think, because I think that'll be pretty. Anyway, just a thought I had the other day. So there's that. And I thought I would find maybe a picture of my lilac to put on that page. So that's where we are. Um, like I said, where this is going to be episode seven. So I don't know how many episodes of fairies I want to do. And I don't know before you guys are like, uh, are you ever going to get done with that? So that's kind of a balance where I'm, what I'm working on right now. So anyway, I think we'll work on the Heather first, which means I'm probably going to have to put purple in the sewing machine now. 
All right, so I'll see you guys in the next video and we will figure out where this is gonna take us. Thanks for watching. Again, I appreciate you all. Thank you so much for joining me. If you do like the content, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, tell all your friends to come and subscribe too. That would be great. All right, have a great day. Bye.